All right, so there's a new BIOS update for the Legion Go 2, and it fixes a lot of things. It fixes some uh, security issues. It also fixes the error that people still comment to this day. I actually got a comment like six minutes ago, which says, oh, but my uh, VRAM slider only goes up to 10 uh, gigabytes of VRAM. And uh, my unit does not have that problem, but I know that some have had it, and this update fixes it. So we're gonna update and uh, first things first, just connect to the internet. And uh, I'm just going to test something. I'm going to go into Legion space and see if it comes up here. People have said that it does not come up in Legion space. So we might have to install it manually, but I thought I'll give it a try because if Legion space doesn't get it up, then uh, why even have Legion space? Okay, nah, but I mean, that would suck, I guess. Disks and drivers, check for updates. And let's see if it recognizes the BIOS driver. Mm -mm -mm. It also fixes maximum memory data clock speed, cannot load a default sometimes. Yeah, and the, um, and the normal VRAM is now set to 10 gigabytes. But as you can see, it does not come up here, so uh, Legion Space is basically useless. And uh, other than all of the other features it has, I guess. But uh, yes, yeah, so what you're going to do is go into Microsoft Edge or whatever browser you have, and then just search up Legion Go to Drivers. And then go a little bit down, you will see the Lenovo support US website. Just press on that. And then yeah, I got the Legion Go one up. So I'm just going to change product, then just search up Legion Go. And then you choose the one which says 8a sp2. And then just select drivers, go into BIOS. And here you can see 12th of November 2025 new BIOS update. Let's just see what's new here. Here you can see everything here. And what's more, and here are all of the new fixes. So you can pause the video if you want to see what's new here, I guess. But um, yeah, I guess it's just what I mentioned, plus a little more, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see if we get more performance. Just extract. You might also have to connect this thing to power. Next, next, and yeah, run on battery power. Yeah, so I have to connect it. So let me just connect it to power. And here we go. Power is connected. Now retry. Do not power off during update. Yeah, really important. And don't touch anything during update. So um, let it just do its thing. Please stand by. Just close this out, I guess. While it still allows me. There we go, restarting. And it does take a while to update sometimes. So just give it some time. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll be making more videos, I guess, on uh, when new drivers for the Legion Go 2 come out. Because there are no really reputable sources for when drivers come out. So uh, subscribe to uh, stay up to date on the latest Legion Go 2 updates and uh, I'll make more videos. But yeah, the video is not done yet. I'll show you guys how long realistically this takes because I have had some issues when uh, updating BIOS, like black screen, all of that. So uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. And uh, if we stumble upon any issues, I'll show you how to fix them. Usually not that hard to fix, but uh, you never know, right? Might have to ship it back to Lenovo. I mean, like how many days ago now? Yeah, about a month ago, we got some uh, graphics drivers. So if you haven't updated to those, just update. I didn't make a video on that yet, but uh, or I won't be because now it's an old driver. But uh, once new ones come out, I will make a new video. There we 
we go. Going a little faster now. It does take a while for a 12 megabyte file. You can increase brightness level and setup now? No way. I guess we'll have to check out BIOS after uh, updating and see what's new. I don't get why they changed it to eight, no, 10 gigabytes. Like, you do not need 10 gigabytes of VRAM on this thing. It's a 1200 p screen, right? And like, it has a iGPU. You do not need more than eight gigabytes of VRAM. 10 is overkill. I would say even eight gigabytes on this thing is overkill. Yeah, now I think it's the waiting game. Yeah, you see? Now will take a while to boot. So I'll just show you realistically how long it takes because it takes oh never mind. Oh they actually added the screen. On the Legion Go One it was just black, but now they added the this text so people know that uh, you shouldn't turn it off. That's so smart. That's so clever. Damn Lenovo. I actually think about everything. Because I'm I'm guessing people have tried to turn off their Legion Go. Uh, while the screen's black, they were like, what? What's going on? Why doesn't it power on, right? But now they added this. So now you know. I guess I don't really need this part of the video then, because Lenovo say itself, themselves, that you need to wait. Well, usually I have to say it for people. Just setup string i mean i'll also test performance but i'll do that off camera i guess i'll comment if performance is better or worse there we go but uh i guess we'll see i don't think it will be any better but i mean we'll see unless they have added like some uh settings I cannot load the default sometimes yeah, we'll see. Maybe they have added some uh, performance uh, increasing settings. We'll see. You know what? While this does its thing, I'm going to put on some socks. Okay, black screen of death. Nah, it's not. Maybe I shouldn't joke around with these things. This is an expensive ass device. You know what, people keep rage baiting me. Like they say this thing costs 1,500 American dollars. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it, when does it do that? Like, okay, yeah, so it's on, but nothing on the screen now. Like, it doesn't cost that much. I paid $1,100 for my unit, and I have the Z2 Extreme. But it is the 512 gigabyte version. Or, I mean, I upgraded to one terabyte for $20, but originally it was 512. Like, people need to stop calling this a $1,500 device, because it's not. So now, let's see what's new in BIOS, I guess. Let's go out of the Xbox full screen experience. By the way, that still does not give you more performance on the Legion Go 2. So I'm just going to restart. 
I'm going to hold the power up button, not power up, volume up. So let's just hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hopefully I'll get in on first try. Damn, my room is dusty. Mm -mm -mm. Update PI. What the hell is that? Did this thing just turn off? Oh no, there we go. Yeah, and it does not want to let me go into BIOS. Awesome. So let it just boot up, I guess, so I can beat its ass for not listening to me. Fucking clanker. Come on, there we go. Just let's do a complete shutdown this time, I guess, instead of a restart. Windows, there we go. Complete shutdown, and then... When this thing is completely shut off. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Volume up and power on. You are not on. Volume up, power on. Come on, buddy. Gotta kickstart you like a car, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. Bow setup. And uh, let's see, is there anything new here? I mean, new BIOS version. Other than that, no. More settings. Configuration. Nothing here. Do we have anything new here? Clock speed. Yeah, this like before. Fast boot. You can set this to 24 gigabytes now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Yeah, I recommend everyone watching this video set it to 8 and forget about it. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, battery level protection. Yeah, I have this off. Disable built in battery. Performance tuning. This still doesn't let you do anything. Yeah, so I guess there's not much new here. Um, yeah, exit saving changes, yes. So yeah, I mean, that's how you update the BIOS on the Legion Go 2. There's not really that much new for me, but uh, you might have more new settings or whatever. It's different for everyone, I guess. Don't know why, but uh, yeah, more VRAM selections or options, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. For more driver updates, subscribe, like, goodbye.